Hi, my name is Alex Sutherland, VA3ASE, and this will be a virtual tour of my amateur radio station, which is focused on satellite and VHF operation. I wanted to start with my antennas, since they're the most critical part of any station. You're watching my satellite antennas, which are tracking a satellite in low Earth orbit. Now this clip is approximately 10 minutes long, but it's been sped up. And you can see on the top of my tower the satellite antennas, which are mounted on a cross boom. This is passing through an elevation rotor, which allows me to aim the antennas at the sky. Then below the cross boom, I have a five element beam for six meters, and this whole stack is mounted on one mass together, which allows me to use one azimuth rotor to turn the whole stack. This is atop a 38 foot DMX tower, which is bracketed to the house, which means I don't need a concrete base at the bottom. And this simplified the install a lot, but limits the maximum height. This isn't really an issue for satellite where we just want a clear view of the horizon. I also have a HF dipole for 20 meter and 40 meter running from a tripod on my roof along my fence line to a steel pipe in the corner of the yard. Looking straight up the tower you can see on the left I have the 70 centimeter beam and then in the middle 23 centimeter and 2 meters on the right and below that is the 6 meter beam. And then on the top of the tower there are a set of preamps and then running down the length of the tower is half inch hard line which runs along the back of my house into this grounding box. In the box you see the hard line coming in the right passing through surge protectors and then transitioning to LMR 400 or RG8X which runs up the wall of the house and into the ham room. So here's where the cables come into the house. I've got a grounding bar mounted right there which everything at my desk is bonded to. And then looking up at the main operating position you can see I have a laptop and several screens and I've tried to lay it out as ergonomically as I can. So these are my two main radios. On the bottom I have an ICOM IC9700 and above that I have the twin, the ICOM IC7300. So 7300 is for HF and 6 meters and then the 9700 is for 2 meters, 70 centimeter and 23 centimeter. And that's the one I use the most, uh, especially for satellite. Um, together I've got them hooked up through that little black box which allows me to use a boom mic and a foot switch. Uh, which is how I like to do my operating. So I've got three monitors here. Uh, the bottom one is where I do logging usually. Uh, I like to use an F, sorry, N3FJP. And then I've got SatPC32 running right now, so it's actually tracking a satellite. Uh, so that satellite is AO73. There's a whole bunch of them nearby, but the one we're on right now is AO73. And so that is tuning the radio, that's why you see it sort of flickering like that. So it's updating the frequencies for Doppler shift, and it's also controlling the rotators. So this grey box is where is what actually connects to the rotor, and that's got the power supply and the switches and stuff in it. And then the black box on top of that is an Arduino interface I put together, which allows me to plug in the rotor control through USB and uh, have the software steer the radio. Below that I've got just a standard uh, manual tuner which I use on HF and that lets me uh, get into other bands. Even though my antenna is only made for 20 meter and 40 meter, um, I find I can tune up 30 meter no problem which is what I'm on right now. And that's uh, on my far left screen running WSJTX right now which is actually on the 30 meter band and uh, there's lots of action going on there today. You may have noticed I have everything squeezed into a fairly small desk space here. I've been very deliberate in my equipment choices and in my layout because I share this room with other members of our family that aren't as enthusiastic about my hobby. And this way I can close up the cabinet doors and keep everyone in our house happy. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my tour.